Hello everybody, welcome. Today we're gonna take a look at the game called Space Prison. Now this is RPG game with some premise of uh, management and wielding also. And before we dive deeper into the game, I just want to say one more thing uh, about the broken color mode. So different between normal game and this mod is in only in this mod you will only get one life, so it is like hardcore mode. Mod a lot of people get confused what this is, and this thing is uh, locked until you complete one normal game game so now let's dive deeper into the game so welcome to the space prison we'll be playing as one of the prisoners we can have a few races pick from few races here uh, I'm gonna show you right now so besides humans there is this next race and there is also this parrots or whatever race also there are a few professions you can pick uh, at the start you can be thief con artist you can be smuggler every Profession has his uh, adds you some traits So this is our character uh, as you can see here. We have some strength and weaknesses. These things are uh, either uh, Generated like this through acquiring higher level at your gang or like this if you are uh, as you can see full uh, Then you will have uh, one uh, action point more in combat also goes also goes for the motivated if, if this scale drops slow you will have uh, negative benefits and there are two thing, uh, two, let's say, type of things uh, in the game. There are uh, orange one. This is a contraband. So if uh, guards catch you with this, you can get in different kind of troubles. And there are the blue ones, which are uh, you can uh, carry them, and it's not a problem. Now also we have a party, as you can see here. These are also a part of our gang. So this is our gang. We're currently here at the ladder. Uh, you must get respect by uh, doing some tasks for them and then you will be able to challenge anyone from the higher echelon and eventually you will be able to become the leader of the gang and escape the space prison but what i want to say is any of these characters that respect you you can use them once per day in combat and you also have uh, things like drones and uh, rats rats come in different kinds there they you can use them unlimitedly in combat so they are not restricted like the gang members once per day and uh, every character has uh, equipment slots and combat items so this is generally like their weapon and armor and this is like consumables like for healing or throwing bombs or whatever also action points and so on and so on uh, besides this, so this part here will be concealed. These are your uh, hidden pockets. And here if you put orange items, uh, even if the guards catch you, they won't confiscate this. Now, uh, we have uh, our prison cell here. There are a few things as you can see here we can do. There is a burrow. Here you can heal your rats. Here you can make items for your rats. We're gonna do a guide on this game so I can show you effectively how to do some things and some tricks, show you some tricks. Uh, there is also here quote so you can see the other games or mods for some games that uh, this company had made. As you can see for Don't Starve and so on. You have your stash. Besides this stash there are on practically every level some mini stashes where you can put few of your items. Also one tip, if you end up normal game all these items and you start broken color mode will stay in your inventory and as soon as you open or uh, upgrade this as you can see you can upgrade it you will start when you open it with first four slots then you have to upgrade it like this and uh, it will give you more slots more slots more slots and all your items you had will stay here you have here where you can where you can acquire some bonuses for one day so also this is the best one of all i would suggest you this looks good but it's not in practice you have workbench here you can make different kind of uh, from weapons to tools and so on you have place to sleep of course and you have a hidden room in this hidden room you have a kitchen so you don't have to walk all the way to the kitchen in the prison to cook your meals there is many different kind of food you can cook and you have uh, electronics engineer sorry here you make uh, things for drones and so on. Drones, in my opinion, are one of the most effective followers in the game. Besides building all of this, as you can see, there are a lot of resources and there are many more. Problem with this game is it doesn't have a adequate stash you need, like 
two times of this so I can stash all the items I need but what it is what it is uh, besides all of this uh, you will encounter different kind of characters uh, along the way from your game from other gangs uh, you can talk to them get quests you can see you can fight with them they're from different gang and uh, I will get some reward for fighting with them uh, so now let me show you one more thing here this is the map of our prison, so we will start here at cell block. As you can see, there is a legend here which explains uh, all the things, also loot included. So you can look here, let's say. Uh, there are these uh, chompers, so they will give us scrap, uh, mostly, and the chest. So this, this part will be unlocked at the start, you will be able to move between these uh, locations. I will show you in a minute, every location has, let's say, sub-locations, which you need to... You need hacking chips to access them. And there is a second layer like yard, uh, power hub and uh, science lab which you can uh, enter as soon as you progress first time in your gang. So you need to be at least here. So you can get uh, every time you level up in your gang you will get some perks and so on. Also there is a gang hideout. So here you can trade, you can get various kinds of things also here is uh, one very useful workbench i'm going to show you here you can repair your items here is a gang workbench where you can make some of the very unique items you can acquire drones you can acquire mechanical rats and so on also you can get a few quests here from a few guys but the most useful thing is this so we can use this teleporter to teleport anywhere we want let's say i don't know tiny hole uh, it takes two hours and now we can skip fighting uh, on every in location between these uh, places let me show you so in order for me to get to here i lost two hours but if i had to go on foot i will lose to one hour two hour three hour four hours and i would have to do some fighting but you can choose sometimes like direct path two hours here three hours here and these are special locations which will give you some prizes and uh, after you manage to get to this location, you need to fix this uh, teleporter. You can use it in both directions, it costs 5 uh, electrical parts. Now this key will be given to you later, when you acquire second tier in the gang. And uh, any location you can do this, and now we can access the outer tier. So, as you can see here, we can move through this to yard. I'm gonna show you in a minute. What it is, we're in the kitchen. Game has, uh, as you can see, it is like this. You can collect a lot of things here. I can, like, feed this guy, he will come out, and I can take one rat. As you can see, uh, many of these things can be, are like uh, broken, and you need tools to fix them in order to make it work. Uh, this place is locked, so you need checking chip level 1 to access here. This is kitchen, also, as you can see here. We can jam this and access the more part of the kitchen uh, you have some cash here which will you require from fighting and so on now i'm gonna show you a few more things as for the gameplay this game is excellent they have only few downsides like you cannot run you have to walk which is annoying and there is a lack in inventory space but uh, besides that the game is gameplay is almost almost perfect from fighting and so on even if there is not a clear level up system uh, everything is done to the spot perfectly so now we're gonna pick a fight let's say here and i'm gonna show you uh, let's see we're gonna put we have 12 leadership so we're gonna put let's say one character and we're gonna take some robots they also hover so this kind of uh, traps here or here won't affect them when they hover over it now combat is very simple you have uh, your turns also of course which depends on initiative you will have here some of the things that are important for the fighting and you will have your uh, hp which depends uh, the higher your your gang tier is the more health you will have also you have some armor which is affected by your items and so on now let me show you a few things there is a let's say this guy he can put poison 
as you can see and uh, it will stack even if he hasn't penetrated shield and we're gonna end this combat pretty fast so I can show you some more things also depending on your weapon you will have a different kind of uh, abilities attacks and so on this is one of the best weapons in my opinion because it leaves wound increase damage for every hit from everyone and like I keep doing he will receive two more damage from everyone and also there is a perk which allows you to uh, reduce the how much it costs for you in action points to take uh, drones into the combat so you can take like three or four drones as you can see we need tools we can get one refined scalp by searching but if we have a screwdriver or this so we can acquire items like uh, refined scrap, we can search this place, so we'll get uh, just one scrap, but if we uh, have tools like screwdriver or wrench, we can dismantle it and get, as you can see, much more resources. Now, uh, as for the gameplay, I thought the gameplay in this game is amazing, it is pure gold, let's say it like that. As for the graphics, I like the graphics, many games tend to link to this cartoonish, let's say, style of uh, drawing it is fairly okay in my opinion music in this game is the weakest point so they have like three soundtracks which are repeating all the time and it's annoying I turned off the music in this game I will leave the visual the sound effects but the music I turn off and I uh, just play some music from some playlist as for how addictive this game is, this game is very very addictive, I have a few run-throughs through this game with different classes and so on. It has amazing story for the characters, it has uh, some very funny moments also because uh, every character in this game will uh, give you a few quests and uh, one quest can be like uh, from 10 parts and they need some things like they can uh, trash someone's cell and uh, you will see there is a this cell was trashed by me so we were looking for some guy as you can see you can enter different kind of cells uh, through the quests so it is very very addictive game i would highly suggest you to try it so boys and girls i hope you enjoyed this game if so like share and subscribe we'll make a guide soon about uh, game mechanics and so on because this game has some hidden features and so on you will see soon so once again i hope you enjoyed it so like share and subscribe see you all soon have fun